Look who's with me. Look who's in attendance. Hey. Guys, look at her hair. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. We're gonna be doing something very interesting today. Um, we did this before on Jackson's page. Shout out Jackson. He's in the link to... <laughs> Bryce B. What is going on everybody today? We are back with another video. I'm gonna talk slowly so I can get my point across even better. Darla's laughing behind the camera right now. But today we're gonna be doing something very interesting. We did this before on Jackson's page where we're gonna be going to fast food places and trying whatever the person in front of us ordered. It's gonna be interesting. Darla's slowly <laughs> But as you guys know, we love our Wendy's, we love our McDonald's, we love our Dunkin' Donuts. So we're gonna see if we can uh, find some new interesting items to potentially order for us in our lives. So let's get it. If you guys haven't already, we're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. We're posting Wednesday, Saturday. I promise you guys that it's the schedule now, Wednesday, Saturday. If you haven't already, like and subscribe and comment down below what videos you wanna see next. Okay, let's do it. Where should we go first? You wanna go to Dunkin'? Are you hoping that the person behind us orders or in front of us orders coffee? Do you want coffee? No? Want a you want a slushy? Guys, the last time we went there with Jackson and Paige, they had this blueberry culotta thing and it was absolutely unreal. It was so good. Instead of uh, Dunkin', we're gonna go to Starbucks, which I'm honestly okay with because I've never really liked Dunkin' and I've always thought that Starbucks was better and I'm more willing to try something from Starbucks than from Dunkin'. Guys, this is about to be so interesting. Look who we have ordering in front of us. Wait, no, come out. Come out of the window, Grandpa. Can you see him guys in the window in the mirror? This is so like invasion of privacy, is it? Is this invasion of privacy? I think grandpa would laugh though. You think so? Oh, I think he sees me. I think he sees me pointing the camera at him. Dude, I think he I think he just ordered for himself. I've never seen a grandpa at Starbucks like this before. So this is gonna be really interesting to see what he got. Good afternoon, thank you for choosing Starbucks. What can we get started for you today? Hi, can I do whatever the person in front of me just ordered? What did the person in front of me just order? Fenty hot caramel macchiato with two extra shots. Um, they also got a cheese danish. Did you want that as well? Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Yeah, everything that they got. Ooh, what else are we doing today? Uh, that'll be it. All right, twelve oh nine. We'll see you up here. Thank you. All right, sounds good. So Graham's got style. That is exactly what I get. But ice. He got a hot caramel macchiato. I get ice caramel macchiato. And the cheese danishes are really good. So Gramps is, Gramps is- He's a win. He's about it? Yeah. Really? All right, you, listen, ice caramel macchiato, sorry, hot caramel macchiato. Dude, that's a tongue got, twister. He, he hot caramel sweet. macchiato, hot caramel. Hot caramel macchiato. Say it a bunch of times. Hot caramel macchiato, hot caramel macchiato. I've had it so many times that I could say it. <laughs> sorry. All right, guys, Um, I'm gonna let you guys know when we get the food, but I'm gonna try it. I hate coffee. If you guys You've know me, you've tried it iced before, and you said it wasn't bad. So I think. You know I think what? your cat. When have I ever tried an iced caramel macchiato? When I got it from Duncan. Is the one here better? Or is the one from Duncan better? Um, the one from here. Oh, okay. Hot actually, take. Actually. Comment down below what you no, guys think. No, actually, actually, the one from Duncan because they make it sweeter. But the one here is not bad. It's... Okay. All right, guys. We're about to get the food, so check back in. Thank you. That was everything, right? Thank you. We need your cash back. Oh. You want the change? Yeah. $7. Sorry, oh my god, I forgot. I almost just left my money. Here. Oh my god, you just hit the curb. He just hit the curb. Why is there a f***ing curb right there, dude? Hold on, let me go check. Oh. He's cray cray. Everything's good. Woo, everything's Finally, okay. Finally, some napkins. All right, let's get this shit. Guys, I don't know what I'd do without Darla. Thanks. I don't use my brain around here, so she like helps me think. Okay, is this good? Yeah. What is this? Mm-hmm. Cheese Danish and oh. hot caramel macchiato. <laughs> wow. Isn't that good? Wait, hold on a dang second. What is that? And a cream cheese danish. I should always eat them when I was little. Oh my god. But that's on you. He's gonna burn this Why did that happen? Because you don't blow in it. Obviously it's gonna like explode. I'm being his mom again. This is coffee, right? No, it's lemonade. That's not lemonade. This does not taste very good. Yeah, I mean, the iced one's better than the hot one. 
Is it hot? Like really hot? Yeah, it'll probably burn you. Yeah. But you already you already know you like that. What would you rate that? What would you rate Grandpa's order? One out of ten. I guess six out of ten. I was gonna say four. Because the Danish, the, the, the cheese thingy, Danish thingy is actually really good. That makes it really good. I'm okay. But the coffee, I'm just not a fan of coffee, guys. Unfortunately, I'm just not. So, all right, where should we go next? I don't know. We're going to go to whatever. Look, guys, I see a fast food place. We don't know what it is yet. We're just going to gamble, and we're going to see what it is. So, we're going to head over there right now. Guys, Dollar said it's another grandpa on the Camaro. What? Oh, my God, it is. <laughs> What's, what are the chances? Hey, can I get whatever the person in front of me just ordered? What is it? Can I get whatever the person in front of me just ordered? Okay, you want what the person in front of you ordered? Yes. It is a double plane large with a Diet Coke. That's what you want? That'll work. All right, 1240. Sounds good. Okay, let's try this shit. Wendy's fries. Yeah, what if the line's really long? Oh my God, did they give us any sauce? No. Old man didn't get any sauce, guys. What do you rate Wendy's fries in like fast food? I like Wendy's fries with sauce. Wendy's fries with sauce are really good. Without sauce, they're like a they're like a six, like a five. I'm surprised we don't have sauce in fries. Diet We're... Coke is not good at all, dude. Diet Coke is not good. Like I genuinely firmly believe that Diet Coke is not good, guys. Okay, you ready to try this burger? A plain double cheese. There's no ketchup on it. Or Nothing, anything? just cheese. Are you kidding me? Maybe he's on a diet. Let me try. Is it good? <laughs> You know what I think of when I eat that? America. It's a bun with patties and a thing of cheese. <laughs> like okay. that's America. It's not bad, it's flavorless. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, oh, this you're is saying like... America's flavorless. No, no, I'm not. You're disrespecting your own country. No, no, that's what I'm saying. No, I'm saying that like when you eat that, you think of America. It's not that bad though. It's just so dull. Okay guys, we're gonna go to Cane's and Cane's is overrated. Us. What? I hate canes. I don't, well, I don't eat it. I hate the way people exaggerate how good it is. Canes is so good. No, I think Are you it. kidding me? It's canes so good. Canes is like top five. Okay, well. With the sauce, the cane sauce, okay, with the, the chicken. It, the sauce uh, is the only thing that pulls it together. Okay, but that's just how, that's with anything. Like if you didn't have your sauce from McDonald's or Wendy's, you wouldn't think that it's that good. Sauce, of course sauce plays the big role, but you have to add it into everything. It has the sauce. The sauce is always going to be there, so it naturally binds in together with everything. I don't know. I just think everything's overrated. Guys, I think this is, I think this is opening day at this Cane's right here, which is really cool. They're going to run out of chicken because it's the only thing they have. Sorry for the aggression. There was no need for that. No need for the aggression is what he says. Hey, I'm not chipmunk. You are a chipmunk. Guys, if Darla was like a, if she was an inanimate object, she would be a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Tell me that makes sense. Tell me that makes sense, guys, because it does. She's like, what are you talking about? That makes so much sense. Comment down below if that makes sense, because it How? does. Why? What is a you just You just remind me of a Reese's. If you, like, if you were a candy, you would be a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. You just look like one. That's not, that's not a bad thing. Reese's peanut butters are cute. But it's chocolate. How am I compared to candy? Okay, guys, we're about to order this. Since it's all chicken, we're probably gonna get the same thing because Darla swears it's all the same order. Because I'm never wrong. Mm. Look, guys, I was right. It's all chicken. They had like 15 people like doing the orders and stuff, and it would have been stupid if I would have been like, "What's the last per?" Like the girl definitely didn't know like what the last person I order was so I didn't want to stress her out and I don't want to like be like that because you could tell she was like stressing out so we just got the three finger combo and the Sprite and cane sauce so we're almost done we're gonna try it in a second wait we should go to shake and we're gonna yeah we're gonna go to steak and shake now guys and we're gonna try steak and shake all right guys we're gonna go to steak and shake we're doing one more after this this is a long video I know but I hope you guys are enjoying click like button click the subscribe button or Didi's gonna yell at you go do it we have the canes now. Okay, one thing I will say about canes is their ice is so good. Their ice. Okay. Let me try the ice. Trying? We're gonna try the bread here first, okay? Is it good? The bread's the only thing I like. Babe, I don't know how you don't like bread with the sauce, 10 out of 10. Now we got fries. My eyes are watering because the Sprite is powerful. Fries and sauce. That is so good. That is so good. Like it might not get better than that, guys. It is very good. 
Okay, try the chicken. That is so freaking good. How is this mint? I don't know. I just feel like it's it's not like mint. It's just like overrated. No, it's not. Like after every single thing you just bit off of right there. How is that mint? Like that was all around like a 9 out of 10. And you know it. You just don't want to admit it because you're trying to hold up to what you said earlier about a bee man. Oh, about it being mid. I just had a freaking panic attack. Chill out. It's like an eight out of ten. See, how is that mid? Not mid, it's overrated. Like it's not the best thing in the world, it's chicken. Yeah, but it's really good chicken. And the fries are really good and the bread's really good. Okay, it's good. I admit that it's above average. It's above average. Okay. Guys, we're at Steak and Shake now. Guys, I'm actually kind of excited about this because the Frisco melt I've never had before. What's that? It's like a sandwich. So, we neither of us have had this before. I'm actually excited because I think that it's gonna be really good. I'm not sure. Hopefully this person puts us on to some 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 good There's a Camry in front of us. That's that's what ordered this. So, we are going to find out. Are you gonna share the peanut yeah. butter cup thing? With Guys, we gotta reach this peanut butter cup just because we're at Steak and Shake and we couldn't not. That's why I got a large because I wanted to share it with you. They are Reese's chocolate peanut butter cup. That's a milkshake. Like like actual milkshake. Well, what'd you get? Actually, um... They're all milkshakes, don't they? Guys, apparently I have a dump truck of an ass. No, like it's growing. Like, growing. Is it actually growing that much? There's no way. We got the canes and we're gonna try this i'm actually excited for this hold on let's try the i haven't tried this before so i'm all, i'm actually kind of excited to try it. why is it so like watery well here I don't know. let me try it like that see yeah that's good yeah you're not supposed to eat it with a spoon that's good that's very nice very very nice very nice you don't you, don't, you think it's mint? actually it's i like it better with the spoon Really? Interesting. We have never tried this before. What is it called? I don't remember. But we got one for me, and we got one for you. They're called Frisco's. Melt Frisco. Looks very interesting. Wait, they gave us two? This, mine has bacon and onions on it. Mine is, oh, I want the bacon and onion one. Okay, I don't want this one, so let's try it. Oh, perfect, this is meat and cheese. Are you ready, babe? Yeah. First time trying this. Okay. I'm pretty good. I mean, it's not like anything crazy. It just tastes like a grilled cheese with stuff added on to it. Yeah, but it's better than a grilled cheese though. Yeah. Well, mm. I think it's pretty good. I like it. Is there just cheese in it? It's not bad. I like it. Personally, if I come to Second Chick, I'm not gonna go out of my way to get one. I'm probably just gonna go with the burger, but it's not bad. I have extreme heartburn right now, guys, because of all the fast food that we've just eaten. Holy shit. Okay, well, we learned a lot today. I would rate this, I'd rate it a, I'd rate it a five. A five or a six, but like a solid five or a six. It's not like a shitty one. Like, they're not bad. They're pretty, they're pretty decent. But that is gonna be it for the, Speak, child. That is gonna be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, like and subscribe. Click the like button, click the subscribe button right now. We're on our way to 100K, I think we have like 83,000 right now. So we're inching our way towards that goal, which is crazy. Uh, if you guys wanna see, like comment down all your all your video ideas you guys wanna see. I'm posting Wednesday, Saturday. I promise you guys that right now. Guys, comment down below if you like Darla's hairstyle. It's so cute. All right guys, well, yeah, that's going to be it. And we will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Peace. These people were talking on the TikTok and it was like, we were, I was on the highway with, uh, with my brother and he like, we almost got into a crash and he was like in some alternate dimension right now. We just died, but in this one we survived. Like think about the amount of times, like when you got in your car crash, like something worse could have happened and you could have died. But then in this universe, like in this life, you like, you split off into a different like dimension and like survived. So I was dead at one point? Well, you were dead in a different, in a, in a different like dimension. Have you heard of quantum immortality? No. So like there's different like with the quantum theory basically there's like a ton of different like lives that you're living like there's like millions and millions of other like lives that are in this same position right now but it's like you're present in this one right now. 
Like you're present in this body and you're present in this mind. But in some other world, this, a tow truck could come kill us right now, but we wouldn't know because we're in this one and we transfer. So basically like if you died, hold on, if you died, so I'm like if we were driving right now, listen, so if we were driving right now, right? Say we were to like get in a crash right now or like almost to get in a crash. Basically, there's a theory that if we almost crashed and I swerved out of the way, in some other dimension, we crashed and we died, but we automatically get sent back to a different one, and then we're living in a different dimension so that we would survive. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's just really weird to think about. Like, what if it's true? And we just die. But then you can then die you, all the That's the thing is, like, that, that, that theory doesn't really make sense because then it's like, once you die of old age and there's no escaping the quantum immortality thing. Yeah. Because once you die of old age, there's there's only so many timelines of different dimensions that can go on because you eventually all of all of in every single timeline you die of old age. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel like it's just that would not work. Fuck quantum theory. Quantum immortality theory. We're just going to get Starbucks, so